what up y'all so i have to do this video because i've been noticing some things leading up to this earl spencer terrence crawford fight it ain't made yet but i'm sure it's probably about to get made and one of the things i noticed the biggest thing i noticed is earl spence is actually the underdog for this fight crazy as this shit sounds because the nigga got three belts Terrence Crawford got one. Earl Spence been snatching eyeballs. Terrence Crawford been going tooth and nails with guys who ain't even on his level. But, right, if you listen to everybody that give their take on this fight because literally everybody has an opinion on this fight or a winner they want to win or who they think gonna win and shit like that, right? Yeah. It seemed like Terrence Crawford is the favorite. Based on all the fighters that picked him, based on everybody you put a mic in front of. They picked Terrence Crawford. So that will make Earl Spence the underdog and also put extra momentum on bro back to, you know what I'm saying, work even harder to come out on top of this situation because we, we know what happened when he the underdog. He can be the favorite or the underdog, actually, and still take your eye, but I'm just saying, you know, it, it's that extra energy that come in the ring with him. When you that underdog, you know what I'm saying? Terrence Crawford is definitely the favorite for the fight because a lot of people picking him. When I was at my son's football practice yesterday, right? I met my son's football practice. They got a track around the field. I'm walking the track, right? It's me and a couple other girls, football moms. We walking the track, boom, boom. A football dad, he stopped me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, on our team or what he he on our team or whatever. But he stopped me. He said, damn, that fight happened already? He seen my hoodie. He thought this, this nigga right here was Terrence Crawford. He said, damn, the fight happened already? I said, I said, nope. I said, no, this this oh guys. He said, oh boy, I'm about to say. He said, I was about to say, God damn. He said, uh, when that fight post out? I said, I, uh, it's, it's, it's talks about it happening in November. He don't know I got a channel or nothing. He just seat my hoodie. You hear me? So he said, we talking about it and shit like that. Then we get to talking about Javante and Ryan Garcia. That's how you know. When a fight, a big fight, when you got niggas who ain't even be on all of YouTube and nothing like that, be knowing about fights. He know about Tank and Ryan, and he know about Earl Spencer and Terrence Crawford. He don't know about all the other niggas that niggas be talking about. But I had to tell him, like, yeah, man, the fight, I'm hearing about it in November. So he like, yeah, I'm picking, I'm picking Crawford, though. I look like. <laughs> I look like nigga boy about to get his fucking shit broke nigga what are you talking about you know but we ain't even getting to no debate or nothing he just talked about he, he he picking Crawford though I said well nigga I'm picking Spence man we got a bet he said alright he laughing she said alright bet alright bet yeah that's one nigga money I'm gonna take other than other niggas that's who talk all this shit on YouTube up uh, there? Everybody else money I'm gonna take, but yeah, he like, but yeah. Remember, I told y'all about the time, right? I had came from the barber shop, and uh, we was in the middle of the trenches somewhere at the gas station, right? Yeah, and, and I seen the homeboy. I used to watch a lot of Mayweather fights at long, long time ago. I ain't seen this nigga in a long time. I'm talking about years. Got to be probably like six, seven, eight years type shit. I ain't seen him so long, right? His name Jason. So he's from St. Louis, heavy on the boxing 
shit, right? And he like, uh, we got in a whole debate. Whole little mini argument in the middle of a lot for like a whole 30 minutes. We, we going back and forth on this Earl and Crawford shit because he picking Crawford. Like, every nigga I bump into, they picking Crawford. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. Outside this shit we be talking on YouTube, everybody I run into picking Crawford. Every fighter to your Roy Jones and, and motherfucking Timothy Bradley's and you. All these niggas picking turn Crawford. So, Earl Spence is the underdog. Gots to be. Because of the overwhelming pick of Crawford. But... You would think that shit would have gave that nigga enough confidence to sign this motherfucking contract. Because then we had a fight right now and we we know what the fuck going on. But obviously he ain't as confident as these guys because he he want all he can get because this is gonna, which I understand. You know, don't get me wrong. I feel a nigga. You got to get everything you can get because you're going to need it because, cause, cause, you know, after the pandemic, a lot of things went up, including hospital bills. That shit, that shit is through the roof. So, I definitely understand. Plus, him and Earl got like a million dollar bet. You know, a lot of shit, a lot of shit. Plus, and then going retirement, cause he's going to Hall of Fame, right? So, he definitely gonna retire. So, I understand why he want them extra millions. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. I can't tell the nigga he don't deserve it or nothing, but, you know, all I can say is if he want this, then Earl Smith got to get more because of who he is. But it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think on that, man. Uh, y'all think Earl Smith is actually the underdog? Because I definitely do. He, he gots to be because it's just so many people picking, picking butt. So, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. Y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. You ain't subscribed already. And I'm out, child. Deuces.